Now with The Witcher 3 being less than a few days away, Nvidia decided to release some extended specifications catering to their GTX 900 series cards. Now they made this list pretty much to uh, reflect on how the game should perform not only at certain resolutions with certain cards and certain presets with certain cards, but how game works should work with certain cards as well. And I really like this because being that I just got a 970, this information is pretty damn interesting to me and it should really be, you know, catered to anyone who has gotten a GTX 900 card within the past few months, especially for The Witcher 3, which was my case. Now before I name off the extended specifications under the GPUs and which resolutions and shit you should be able to perform and whatnot with this game, I'm gonna go ahead and name the normal good old system recommended specs. They're saying you need at least an i5 2500K 3.3 gigahertz or an AMD Phenom 2 X4 940. Now for GPU, they're recommending a GTX 660 or an HD Radeon 78070. For RAM, they're recommending six gigabytes of RAM at least and 64-bit Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1 for an operating system running on DirectX 11 and with 40 gigabytes of hard drive space at least. For recommended, they recommend an i7-3770 3.4 GHz on FX8350 from AMD at 4.0 GHz. And for GPU, a GTX 770 or an R9-290. And for RAM, they're recommending at least 8 GB of RAM for recommended settings. And for operating system, the same as minimum Windows 7, Windows 8, or 8.1, all 64-bit, no 32-bit allowed, DirectX 11 or above and 40 gigabytes of hard drive space. Now getting into the extended recommendations, which you know is pretty much made because it caters to the Uber and game work settings for this game. They're saying that you should be able to perform well with the GTX 960 on low, medium, and high settings at 1080. Now of course they don't list FPS settings or anything like that of what you should expect, but you can pretty much round off what to expect from those settings alone. High will probably get you 30, plus and then medium 40 plus and then low 60 plus certain shit like that you just have to you know take in the chemistry of your car and how it runs with your specifications and shit now to get uber settings they say you need at least a gtx 970 for 1080 uber settings and this is without gameworks now getting into gameworks uber settings at 1080 for optimal performance they're saying a gtx 980 then going into 1440p with uber settings a GTX 980, 1440p with Uber settings and Gameworks, a GTX Titan X or two-way SLI 970s. That is a lot, okay? For just 1440p Uber with Gameworks. Now going into 4K with Uber settings, a GTX Titan X or a two-way SLI 980. And getting into Uber settings with Gameworks at 4K, two-way SLI 980s or GTX Titan X. Now, as you can see from these even extended specifications, the game has a wide range of performance. It can perform on, you know, pretty good cards. Now the GTX 960 is a two gigabyte card. And to be able to perform high on that card is saying a lot, especially with a game like this, The Witcher 3, which is pretty much set to be the most demanding, one of the most demanding games of the year. So with that being said, those are the settings of which you should expect with certain resolutions and certain settings with GameWorks on or off. Now with me, things are going to be certainly different and this is pretty much with every PC gamer out there. It's going to be, you know, whether or not you want certain things in there or not. When you tweak the settings, everybody, the first thing you do when you get a new PC game is you go in there and tweak the settings. How good you can run something at certain settings and how well it can do and if it satisfies you. Now with me, I can already tell you I'm not going to have MSAA on at all. I do not like anti-aliasing unless it's FXAA. That's as far as I go with it. So that's going to be turned down, which will give me more room for other things around here, which will either give me a good frame increase or I could boost up some other settings. Maybe I could turn Gameworks on with that MSAA being off and only set to FXAA. So with that being said, if you have a GTX 900 card, NVIDIA gave you a little bit more to go off of of how you should be able to run The Witcher at certain settings. Now before I wrap up this video, I have to say the giveaway ends tomorrow for The Witcher 3 on PC. I'm giving away a free Witcher 3 code via NVIDIA and GOG.com. So make sure you go down in the description below if you haven't already. 
uh, participated in this giveaway that I'm doing right here for a chance to win. So go down to the description below, click that link, watch the video, listen to the instructions on how you can have a chance to win this game. Now the contest ends tomorrow, which is May 18th, the day before The Witcher releases. So you might want to get your ass down there right now if you haven't already, so you can have a chance to win this shit. But anyway, that is all for this video. This is IDCL. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Please, I would appreciate it. And I'm out. Peace.